Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to replace this light switch, single pole light switch with a new Lutron occupancy motion sensor light switch. I bought this from Amazon for $20. This type of switch is good for garage, for kids room, for bathroom and for laundry rooms. Especially in kids room because they usually forget to turn off the light when they leave the room. By default, the switch is set to auto on and auto off. That means it will automatically turn on when somebody enters the room and the switch senses motion and it will automatically turn off when the person leaves the room and the switch does not sense any motion in the room. That is called the occupancy mode. It can also be programmed to vacancy mode. That means the person will come into the room, the switch is turned on and it will automatically turn off when the person leaves the room. That is called vacancy mode. But by default, the switch is programmed for occupancy mode. In today's video, I will only install the switch and leave it with the default settings. So let's get started. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. Safety first, I will go down and turn off the circuit breaker first. Circuit breaker is off. I will remove the cover plate and then remove the switch. I will use my client tools touchless voltage tester to make sure that there is no power in the switch. There is no power so it is safe to proceed. There is no power. This is an old house built around 50 years ago. So I don't see any neutral wire here. I only have a white wire and a black wire. The switch is not connected to ground but the ground wire is bonded to the box. Now which one of these is a hot wire and which one is the load I can check that but it doesn't matter. Next I will safely remove these wires. The switch is good works fine I will save it and use it somewhere else. The screws seem to be longer than the normal, so I will have to reuse them because the box is deep inside the drywall. This is the dew switch. Unfortunately, it does not come with any installation instructions. There's a small slip here and it gives you a QR code. Scan the QR code to get installation instructions and how to program the switch. I will have to check that later. The switch comes with four wire nuts. Checking the wires with the switch. So in this switch we have two black hot wires. They will be connected to these two wires. And we have bare ground wire. I will connect this wire to the box. We have a white neutral wire here with a green sleeve on it and the slip on there's a small tab here which says connect green sleeve wire to ground only in retrofit and replacement applications. That means if there is no white wire I can connect the white neutral to the ground. Starting the connections I will connect these two wires to the ground inside the box. I will use a small pigtail connect this pigtail to the box and then connect all grounds like this. This is my ground. This ground and this green or white neutral is grounded. I will use the wire nut that came with the switch. Which of these wires is connected to which of these incoming wires in the box, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that they are firmly tight. You can also pull the wire and double check. That's all about it. Push the wires inside the box and tighten the screw. I 
I will use the same old screws that I removed from the switch earlier. If you notice there is a small tab here. This tab is used for advanced programming of the switch. For now I will leave the switch in its default settings. I will cover the settings in a later video. So basic installation is done. The switch is in its default settings. I will now go down and turn the power on and check the operation of the switch. I am going to enter the room and let's see if the light turns on or not. It's on and here is the switch. So the installation is successful. Very nice. So the light just turned off automatically after 5 minutes. I will check out the programming manual of this switch online and then make a separate video on how to program this switch. Until then, I will leave this switch in its default settings. That's all for today. I hope the video is helpful. It is useful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, please take care.